What's up guys? Grim here. Let's get buffed up and prepare for a warfront of domination. Hopefully. Uh, I'm playing my marksman rogue and I'm in here with my guildy vetman. Let's get our grub on here. And um, yeah, it's pretty easy playing marksman. It's kind of overpowered and fun all at once. Hey look, Medusa is in here. Alright. If you don't know who Medusa is, it's the female character at my bottom right there with the green hair. Uh, he? She? Probably a he? Even though playing a female character. But he plays Pyromage and makes YouTube videos. So if you're curious about watching Pyromage YouTube videos, then look him up. He's right there, just to my left. Um, doesn't really do any tutorials or anything like that. He's, uh, you won't usually find a pyro mage tutorial or anything, but you'll find a lot of videos that are like music videos where he puts a lot of, uh, like a music soundtrack and just the highlights of Warfronts and Conquests and stuff like that. And slows down the action parts and stuff it, it's pretty cool so yeah pyromage as you can see i let everybody run ahead of me a little bit there because i want them to be the cannon fodder not me i want those guys to be the first to get tab targeted while i stand back and shower my enemies and arrows oh that's a good target right there I don't want to run through his, his team though. Let's try to line a sight and hopefully they don't notice me over here. If you guys are unfamiliar with PvP, a good tactic is to do like I'm doing right now. To where he doesn't know who's hitting him probably. He, he, think it, he thinks it's probably one of the people in front of him until he looks over and sees me. Uh, I think he might have seen me right then. Oh, oh, oh. They have noticed me now. Where's all my allies? It's all red names. Okay, there's a couple of green. Alright. I think we're good now. That was kind of scary whenever you turn around and all you see is red. But yeah. I think we're okay now. See, now, now the pressure is on me. Now the pressure is on because Medusa is in here because he's probably filming this as well. You know, recording this Warfront. So, if I do good, I post the Warfront online on YouTube. But if I do bad, I don't post it. And that's the thing is, is he might post the footage. If I go like 0 and 5, which I don't think that's happened ever maybe I don't know maybe but yeah it'd be this one where somebody else is recording it and gonna post it on YouTube oh well such is life um, what a lot of people do specifically uh, big name people is they'll get into a warfront like this and if they do bad they'll soul recall out so it takes their name off of the scoreboard and uh, you can't really post the how bad somebody's doing if they're off the scoreboard. And Soul Recall makes it where you don't have the, the deserters buff where you can't enter another warfront for another 15 minutes. That allows you to avoid that. So that's what a lot of big name people do. Uh oh, Medusa in front of me there trying to take all the kills. Whoa. Where'd he go? Did he go right in the middle of them? Did he just die? No? Yeah? Hmm. Yeah, I think he died. But oh well. Might be a rough one for him. I don't know. No, they have him targeted. But he's at full health. 
Okay, it must be healer. Alright, I'm putting the pieces together here. It must have been the healer that is using mouse over heals and still had Medusa uh, targeted even though even though he died. Grim Sherlock on the scene. Putting my clues together to figure out what went wrong. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well, so far we've had one close call and then plenty of dominance since then. Haven't really gotten any danger really other than that one time, so hopefully that trend keeps up. Oh, Medusa died again. Dang it. Well. Uh, we gotta get some good targets here. But, um, let's go ahead and talk about a few things while I'm killing people uh, to keep this interesting besides me just going hey I'm shooting this person hey I'm shooting that person I try to talk about other stuff so you guys keep interested a little bit uh, the game plan that I plan on doing for the videos is probably going to uh, take on a schedule of three videos a week probably uh, I'm kind of loosely planning it to be uh, like a Warfront video on Tuesdays, a Warfront video on Thursdays or so, and then like try to post a, a pretty good video like a, a tutorial, a build, or something else for the Saturday video, or maybe a highlight or something like that. Something to make it a little bit better than the normal Warfront matches. Uh oh okay they got a healer on the scene and the healer completely <laughs> ignored him alright I thought for sure I was about to have to run away because that healer was going to start healing him but he showed no love to you sir alright so it's two to two we did have a two two cap lead and now they've caught up Hmm. Alright. I don't really want to jump down into those guys. That's If you're wondering what I'm kind of thinking right now, I'm thinking I don't want to jump down into those red people. Until some allies get in the area. Yeah, it's looking a little safer now. There's some fighting going on and stuff. They might not target me as soon as I jump down. Man, this person just is so squishy. I love it. But yeah, never never jump down into a sea of red names uh, unless you've got allies down there fighting them. Man, getting low. Gotta, gotta take some shelter. Hopefully nobody's chasing me. Think we're good. Drink up some grog. Uh, not gonna be able to go out there and get many kills with me having to heal myself, but that's how it goes. That's why I'm starting to play my warrior as the Warlord Paladin spec more. Because it's so easy for me to go out there and, you know, have fun without relying so heavily on healers. Because whenever I play like Warlord Paragon, or even the 61 Warlord build, it's heavily relied on healers it, if I don't have healers then I'm gonna suffer bad so lately even if we have healers I've been trying to well I've been playing the warlord paladin spec anyway because there's so many situations where a healer might ignore you like you just seen earlier that healer completely ignored that guy and I just killed him but I'm really enjoying playing the Paladin spec a lot more. It's kind of brought back a little bit of the fun back to Warrior for me. Because I was get, I was starting to get frustrated with a lot of the Warfronts where we wouldn't have healers or 
uh, the healers just wouldn't keep us up and stuff like that. It was always so frustrating because you go out and do your job as in DPS and everything down and trying to stay near your healers so they can target you and you still go down and it sucks, you know. So with me playing the Paladin spec more now, I'm not worried about that anymore. Uh, if healers take care of me, cool, I'll do more DPS. But if they're not taking care of me, I can easily pop a big heal on myself, pop no permission die, and be okay. Man, I am being a terror to these healers here. Oh my gosh, I think, I think almost all my kills have been healers. Almost all. Hmm. Not getting too many killing blows right now, but that's the way it goes. Alright. Yeah, look at that. Even though I'm pinning these guys quite a bit, we just killed like five people in a row and I didn't get one of the killing blows. Oh, that sucks, but that's life. There we go, I got that one. Very nice. I'm not a failure after all. You guys can be proud of me. <laughs> uh, what else can I talk about? Okay, I talked about the the video schedule. And, and I'll go ahead and tell you guys why the video schedule is changing the way it is. I made the video talking about how how I don't really make money from YouTube. I mean, I, I'm just now getting my, like my first check from YouTube, and it's not all that much, but you know, it's a start, and it's building all the time because of you guys. You guys are subscribing, you guys are watching my videos, some of you guys are clicking the ads, and it's helping tremendously. So the amount that I make off of YouTube, although very, very small, is adding up all the time. So, eventually it might be a lot nicer and but until that gets to that point I've got to go find other work and stuff so uh, been doing like side jobs and stuff like that and looking for a permanent job well permanent until you know YouTube gets huge and I get millions of subscribers and all that but um, yeah uh, so, I'm, I'm thinking about doing it different ways. I'm getting a little bit sidetracked, but uh, the reason why the videos are getting that way is because I'm having to do other jobs. And also, uh oh, as if I don't get sidetracked enough whenever somebody pulls me in, that really gets me sidetracked even more. But... Not only do I have to do side jobs, but also I'm trying to build up footage for a Let's Play channel. Uh, the the name for my... I'm wanting to do a central channel for all other games, and then have my specific Rift channel, which is this one. Because... I like Rift more than I do most other games, so... Uh oh. I'm in trouble, in trouble, gotta get away, too many enemies, not enough out. Okay, but as I was saying, uh, I'm trying to, 13 and 1, not bad, not bad, how good is Medusa doing? Did Medusa leave? He sure did. Yeah, if whenever you're a, you become a name in the game, if people start recognizing you and stuff like that, they they like to put you down. So uh, a lot of people, whenever they are getting recognized, especially in PvP, if you start to get recognized. You don't want to give people firepower to post like uh, 
scoreboard screenshots on the PvP forums and all that, or else footage of you dying and stuff. You don't want that to get around too much because it kind of it makes you look bad. People really try to rub it in and stuff. Everybody has bad war fronts, but like I said, they generally whenever you're you you become a name in the game. If you do bad, you soul recall out of the match so that they don't have footage or scoreboard screenshots of you dying. Oh crap. Yep, <laughs> like so. Alright, that's two deaths, almost back to back. But, yeah, I think that's what he did. He soul recalled out. Might not have been having a good match. I've seen two deaths, so might have had more. So I, I completely feel his pain on that. Okay, what was I talking about? Um, the the schedule for videos. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to get footage for other games as well. I've been playing uh, Star Wars: The Old Republic. I've been playing uh, World of Warcraft. Uh, lots of MMOs because I just like PvPing a lot, and I like MMOs. I'm not too big on single player games, but I'm going to have to start playing them because I got to do a let's ch uh, let's play channel. And that's what majority of people do to build a big channel. And let's face it, this channel is not going to get huge just playing Rift. Uh, so I'm going to keep this channel specifically for Rift because Rift is, you know, the funnest game for me. So I want to have a channel of its own and then I'll have a channel for everything else. But a, a Rift channel is just not going to grow too big. I mean, almost everybody that keeps at the Rift YouTube stuff is in the 2000s, maybe 3000s of subscribers. And then you got uh, one guy that is at 5000 and it was, I think it's mainly because, uh, and it's Extreme RT. Uh, I think the reason why he is at 5000 is because he was really putting out videos whenever the game first went free to play so he kind of cornered that market at the time and also he did the video series with Swifty and Swifty is a big name so he's like the one guy that is at 5,000 subscribers whereas everybody else that is working really hard on videos is only at the two to three thousand and it's probably not going to get any better for them until they uh, start getting into other games which you're seeing a lot of. If you look at Noobzilla's videos, he's doing Arc Age, he's doing, um, let's see, he's doing Trove and Elder Scrolls and stuff like that. And that's going to help his channel grow bigger than the, the two and three thousand subscriber plateau that Rift Gamers hit on YouTube. Oh, we're running out of time. And, uh, I don't see Extreme RT's uh, channel growing much bigger either because it's Rift. Sadly enough, uh, the Rift community, although it's big, it doesn't really support its uh, entertainer, uh, its content creators that much, which sucks, but that's just the way it is. So in order to grow our channels bigger, we have to get into other games. And yeah. That's what a lot of them are doing. And if you watched uh, Harry Does Gaming, he got into a lot of first person shooters other than Rift videos. And I don't even think he's making any Rift content any at all anymore. He's pretty much seen where the subscribers come from and he's making first person shooter videos. But I plan on sticking to Rift. I plan on sticking to Rift for a long, long time and keeping this channel going strong. And, uh,. But yeah, I'm going to have to just kick back on the videos because, you know, I got to focus on some of the other games too. And that means I can't play Rift every day. It means that, uh, you know, just not as much content. I've got to upload footage of other games as well soon, so. And also, got to work other jobs unless you guys start making donations. Donations is what makes me where I can focus on Rift more. Which somebody uh, not too long ago made that $50 donation and that paid for my XSplit license. 
and helps out a lot. It's, uh, I'm gonna try recording with XSplit to make the process early, uh, easier for me. So hopefully we get that going and donations help, man. Donations help a lot. So, man, this is gonna end in a tie. Oh my gosh. Hopefully we got some kills though. I know we've already gotten two deaths. Well, he didn't chase me. I was starting to worry about a third death there. But yeah, that's what all's going on. I think that's about all. Hopefully I didn't jumble up all the talking content too much there. Hopefully you guys were able to follow. So yeah, three videos a week will probably be what's coming up. Um, a Let's Play channel will probably open up and I'll probably do all the Minecraft content on the Let's Play channel. The only thing that's holding back the Let's Play channel is I got a particular name for it that I want that somebody else registered. I'm trying to get a hold of that person to try to get that name, but it's not looking too good. And it ends in a tie, guys. Well, 20 and 2. Okay, we did a lot better than I thought. 14 and 5 for Vetman, and Medusa is off the list. So, hope you guys enjoyed it, and my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.